Hello, I'm Isabel and I'm here with the Between Classes podcast. I have Toby Euchre and he's going to tell us a little about, about himself and what we're doing today. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I am Toby Euchre. I'm Associate Director for Living, Learning and Outreach in our Office of Housing and Residential Life. And so what we're doing today is uh, we think it's good to check out how close everything is on campus, get a sense of our residence halls and dining facilities and how everything's right there. So on this beautiful summer day, we're going to take a little walk and give, uh, give our listeners and watchers a chance to understand uh, how close everything really is here at SDSU and how you can catch all those pieces with one quick little walk. Yeah, let's we're go. We're starting here at Larson Commons, which is one of our main dining facilities, and we'll take you on a little tour. So what do we got here on campus for students um, when they're trying to get from point A to point B from their dorm to what's around for them? Sure, absolutely. So we work to group a lot of our residence halls together. So a lot of students are living real near to each other. So as we walk away, you can see that behind us, Larson Commons has two residence halls, Benoist and Young, that are attached right to it. And then we'll be walking by three or four more other residence halls on our way to the Union. And so to have all of those student spaces really close together helps mean that even if you're living in one building and a friend of yours is living in a different building, it's still really easy to get from one to the other. Wow. Um, yeah. So what about classes? What is your longest walk time from your dorm to a class, maybe even on the corner to the other corner of campus? Sure. I think it depends a lot on things like the, the weather and how fast a pace you're making. Right. If you're trucking, you can get there a little quicker. Uh, than if you're just taking a nice walk like we are today. But I think from corner to corner, so from Benoist where we were, I would say the farthest corner is the animal science complex. Right. And even that is probably a 10 or a 12 oh, minute walk nice. from corner to corner. So even if you've got a class way over there, you can leave your hall with 15 minutes before class and be pretty sure you're gonna get It makes those 8 a.m.s a little bit easier. Absolutely. Now this time of year, it's a lot, uh, a lot quicker and a lot nicer to right, take a stroll. Right. So. Even if you wanted to, you know, hop on a bike or a For scooter, sure. maybe get there even quicker. Yeah, we're a very bike friendly campus and we work to be what uh, our campus calls a walking campus. And so you'll see as we take this walk, there's not cars and parking right. and streets to cross and all that sort of stuff. This is a, a pedestrian boulevard. You get to walk the whole way. What a nice thing about this campus. Yeah. So what other outside of classes, what other buildings are close enough for students to walk to? Sure. So where we're headed is actually the University Student Union. So it has tons of uh, student engagement opportunities. It has a lot of our dining facilities. A lot of the student leadership stuff is there. And so that is right across the sidewalk from some of our halls or at its farthest that we're doing right now is a few minute walk from, uh, from one of our other halls. So that's right there. We also have the wellness center that's very close. So if you want to take a walk to go take exercise, yeah, you can do go. that. If you want to use any of our uh, medical or counseling services, those are all in that same wellness center. Attached to the wellness center is also our Frost Arena, our athletic facilities there. And so if you want to go see the Jackrabbit right. basketball team or volleyball team game or night, any of those. Weekend. Exactly. Big weekends. You're right there close to those as well. Awesome. We have Honors Hall that we're just passing right here. So that actually has a classroom in it. Oh. So some of our facilities, even you might be taking a class in the building you're living in. Wow. Yeah. What a great perk. So. I know the Union is like the center of campus. It's a place where most students spend a lot of their time. What things are in the Union that students can walk so close to? Sure. So I think the things that are really important in the Union are a lot of dining services. So you've got the Market, you've got Chick-fil-A and Panda Express and Extreme Pita. So a lot of places where you can get food. You've got a coffee shop in Einstein's yeah. Brothers Bagels. Um, and then you've got, like I said a little earlier, your student leadership pieces. So our Students Association Senate has an office in the Union. Multicultural Affairs has an office in the Union. The Collegian, KSDJ Radio. So really, if you want to be involved on campus, a great hub to start is our student the union. The center of it all. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, it seems like everything here is so close that students don't have to worry about getting from point A to B, it's just a couple minutes of a walk and they can really focus on being a full-time student. Absolutely, and you'll see this kind of thing happening on right. campus too, right? We'll be having the nice conversation as you walk from point A to point B. It means you get to interact a little bit with your friends, have a friend that's going to class with you, say, hey, let's go grab dinner. And you're from your residence hall to the union right away. Just that easy. Yeah. Well, here we are. 
Let's go check out the Union while we're here. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks, Sylvie. <laughs>